going to show you how to do a simple trick that will add punch and life to your drum recordings. It's called parallel drum compression. To really hear the impact of this demo, make sure that you're using good quality headphones or monitors. Let's listen to the difference. The first thing you'll want to do is use the SSL channel to get a basic drum sound. There are a lot of great presets that'll get you an amazing sound really fast and may only need a little adjustment to suit your track. Now that we have our basic drum sound, I will show you how to set up parallel drum compression using the SSL bus compressor. First, select all your drum tracks and set the output to an available bus. Name the new bus drums. Now again with all the tracks selected, choose another bus on the sends of each channel. Make sure all the sends on each drum track are turned all the way up to zero. This channel can either be stereo or mono. For now, let's just choose stereo. You can change it later to adjust the sound. Name this bus Drum Compression. Select the SSL bus compressor on this channel. Again, here you can select a preset or make your own settings. Typically, you want the compression to be pretty crushed. So let's start with the pooch drum crush. Here's the basic sound with no parallel drum compression. And here it is after with the drum compression engaged. Now adjust between the two levels to get the desired sound you want. In this example, we only had four drum tracks recorded with an Apogee Quartet and Logic. This effect will of course work with multiple drum tracks as well. We just use four drum tracks for simplicity. You can now tweak the settings on the SSL bus compressor or add reverb, EQ, and really customize the sound. Remember, this is just the basics of parallel drum compression using the SSL Waves plugin. Now, just experiment to get the sound you desire and find what works best for your tracks.